Hello everybody, this video is going to be a little bit different than the other videos that I have made. Um, but I thought, what the heck, I've had a lot of friends that purchased campers in the past two years or since COVID and there's a lot of people that get a little intimidated when it comes to blowing out the lines or winterizing your camper. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is. You only need a few things. You got your adapter. I think you can buy these online. Camco makes them for like 10 bucks. I just made this at Home Depot with some different parts. Uh, some tools to get the, the uh, plug out of the hot water heater and then a compressor. Now, the first thing that I always do is drain the hot water heater. And I don't know if this is <laughs> how you're supposed to do it. Uh, it definitely makes it more entertaining this way. So, pretty much guaranteed to get a little bit wet and you want to watch out because this little plug can go shooting out. So again, there's probably better ways to do this, but this one works for me. Oh, that was anti-climax. Usually it shoots like 10 feet out. All right, well, we're draining the water heater. So it looks like we're pretty much drained on the hot water heater. What I generally do next, and again, I don't know if any, everybody does this, but go inside and under, it's our kitchen sink. So there's kind of an access panel and you have the bypass to the hot water heater. So what I do is turn it to bypass the hot water heater. That way when we blow air through it, it doesn't go through the water heater. It just goes through the pipes. But again, I don't know if that's what everybody does. That's what I do. And these are cool. My wife takes Polaroid pictures on every camping trip of the kids and everybody. And we have books and books of these. And really cool way to keep memories. So headed outside. Now the fun begin. We have our adapter already hooked into city water. We already have our compressor at 30 PSI. Plug her in. And you'll kind of hear it going through the pipes. Go inside. And what I generally do is start from the front to back. So the kitchen sink, bathroom, toilet, shower, and then we'll go outside and do the outside shower. One other thing I did want to show you, if you were to want to fully winterize um, your camper, so not only blow the airlines out, but also put antifreeze in. Ours is on the back panel here. This is the hose that you would stick into the antifreeze bottle. You would switch this bypass to so it's sucking the liquid from the bottle. And basically just turn on your pump, run all the faucets, the sinks, the toilets and just wait until whatever color stuff you have in there so if it's orange or green or whatever and then pour a little in the toilet um, a little down the tub drain and you should be good well that's it hopefully you enjoyed the video if you like more informational videos in the future please let me know otherwise happy camping and we'll see you out there bye